Good afternoon, I'm Doug Zier with Tillmar, and uh, today we are at the Ohio State University Horticulture Farm in their vineyard. Um, we're here to give a test run to the Thiessen Adaptive Cultivator System. And uh, we were actually here a week ago. Um, it was a little wet and the weed conditions were different. Uh, heavier and um, according to the farm manager uh, back in May they did uh, spray uh, with a glyphosate um, and then about two weeks ago they had sprayed with a burn down um, before the bud set and uh, but as you can see um, from previous photos there was pretty heavy weeds here and also in another vineyard that we'll visit here shortly. But I just want to point out what was left from last week. Um, you can see we had some pressure with purslane. Um, this is some that uh, must have not gotten hit with our weeder. Um, you can see we've been through it. It's, oh, the soil is looser. Um, but when we go over to this side, you can see after passing with uh, ACS, we've uh, knocked a lot of this loose. Um, that's going to die, and the soil is drier, so once we hit those, it's doing a pretty good job of loosening that soil and hilling it. Uh, the ACS has mounded up this soil just like this. And it, it does have some adapt, uh, some uh, adjustment to it, so we can um, accommodate for that. So just to be clear, the row to my left is what we have not done, have not touched today. Uh, and today we ran a pass down both sides of this row. So this is the row that we were able to get rid of some of that nasty purse lane that was hanging on that probably um, last week when it was a little wet uh, the clumps held together and uh, we had some rain and it and it stayed together but now that it's drier stuff comes out not a lot easier so you can see they have some of uh, these metal re-rod posts We've been running our fingers right up and to around so it has not damaged our, our vines that are coming there. Um, and we're able to get out weeds that are right at the base of the plant. We can see here that our spiders up front cut right along this edge. Make a nice edge and move soil towards the center and then our polyurethane fingers help to move as it moves up together like around the plants. The ACS we consider to be a maintenance tool. So if you um, or organic or even not organic uh, can be used to maintain your beds in this fashion, it is not meant to be a tool that is instantaneously going to clean out a very weedy situation. Um, it, as you can see and we'll show in a minute that uh, we, it can handle weeds but with multiple passes. So we'll um, show what, what the machine does then with multiple passes. We're in the newer block with younger vines in it. Um, and so the previous weed control, um, there was not as much as the previous patch. So the weed pressure here 
had been higher before the spray and the weeds were still hanging on pretty significantly. Um, and last week when we got here, when we looked down, you could hardly see through the underneath um, because of the weed pressure that was there. But uh, with the ACS, we were able to knock back those weeds. Um, so now this week, uh, you can see we've, we've done a pass here and this is up nice and mellow where we've knocked back this other, that was some of these that were still hanging on. Um, you can see that oh, much more over here. This we have not touched yet. So we still have quite a bit of quads and some of the grasses hanging on here. But when we go through with the ACS, uh, we'll be able to loosen that up and uh, possibly with uh, two passes, we'll have it looking like the other field. So we just did a pass down both sides of the row to my left and the row to my right. The row to my left has had, we we're trying to remember how many we did last week, um, but it's had at least one or two more passes than the row to my right. And so we can see that our soil is getting much more mellow after multiple passes. These uh, clumps of grass are starting to get worked up and with a little sun, they'll help us out. They'll be able to dry out most of that. Um, but we're making a big impact on this whole area, mounding up here in the middle nicely. Uh, you can see how clean it is right around the base of the plant too. That's what really is able to the, the fingers are able to do. So the spiders loosen it up out here, break the crust, and the fingers then eat, move in around the plant, around the base of the plant, around posts. We have to be careful for posts too. Um, so here we can see much more, see these clumps that need to be moved and worked up. So we're getting, our, the spiders are working well. They're able to pull up a lot of this that's outside, you know, the area around the plants. And our fingers are, need to move in here and push against these some more. But it's start, they still have a little bit of pull to them, but we're working them looser. There we go, yeah. So we're making a difference here. Um, but this was pretty weedy when we started, so we're really pleased that we can see down through those rows now.
on this pass, we went down in this direction and back in the other direction, and I went a little slower, about two to three miles per hour, um, so that I could try to edge in, feel confident about edging in and pushing harder uh, against the ridge and against the base. I just didn't want to, you know, you can't go in too far because you don't want your the center of your wheel to hit. You want to make sure that your fingers are the what's touching the, the, the vines um, and pushing. And since we came back in that direction, you can see that our clods are pushed more off to this side now. So you can tell that those fingers have pushed and have really started to loosen up all this, these clumps of grass, especially that were sitting in here. And, and that is gonna help us to dry all that out. Um, so we've got a nice mellow soil now in the middle and we're starting to get clean around the base we've got stuff that's pretty loose so a lot of that is going to dry out for us um, normally uh, when you're in the maintenance mode uh, you can drive faster um, speed is to your advantage so you know four to six miles per hour um, will really help you know push push that soil but in this case I did slow it down so that I was confident about how close I was to the base of these plants. We're going to continue on now, do the rest of the plot, but uh, that'll conclude our discussion for today. We thank you for watching our videos. Um, we appreciate your comments too, your feedback, uh, your experience. So if you have questions, uh, feel free to call us at tillmore.com. Um, we do speak Spanish and French now, so we have folks on staff. So if there's anything that we can do, uh, let us know. Thank you.